Hello everyone, this is Mandeep from Truby Cars. In this video, we're gonna talk about left-hand turns. We know a lot of people fail their driving test on left turns. Um, they do, um, you know, um, critical mistakes like not going in the intersection when they should be going in the intersection or going in the wrong lanes or going too far into the intersection. So we will look at all those uh, mistakes and uh, help you guys, uh, you know, uh, with your driving test. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. So let's uh, get started. So here we have one example. We are approaching this traffic light here. The very first thing you need to do is, um, you know, get into the proper lane. So in your driving test, when your examiner asks you to turn left at an intersection, you need to decide uh, which lane um, is for left-hand turns. So in this example here, um, so we have a separate lane for left-hand turns. So that means we need to go into um, this lane here, right? So we have a separate lane for left turns here. Uh, so we need to get into um, this lane to do our left hand turn. So that is the very first thing uh, we need to do. And we can also see the road markings here now, right? So we see the white arrow uh, indicating, uh, you know, this lane is for left hand turns and uh, the, this lane is to go straight. Um, okay, so after that you want to look at the traffic light as well. If the light is green, uh, right, that means uh, we need to go in the intersection. But if the light is red, you need to stop. So let's say if you have a red light, you will, um, you know, you would stop before the stop line. So this, uh, on this intersection, we have a stop line here, right? So if the light is red, you would actually stop before the stop line here. Uh, but um, in this case, uh, the light is green and um, that means we can go into the intersection. Um, as you're going in the intersection, uh, you need to check uh, if there is oncoming traffic because if you have oncoming traffic here, right, so if there is a traffic coming from the front, uh, that means you need to stop in the intersection and let that traffic go first because they have the right of way. Um, unless they are turning left. If you have another vehicle turning left, um, right, um, if you have another car turning left, um, then you don't need to worry about that because they're not going to interfere with us. But if the traffic is going straight or if they're turning right, um, they get the right of way. Okay, so um, another thing that you need to check. So as you're going in the intersection, you're looking at your traffic light, right? Uh, you're looking at oncoming traffic here. Uh, you also need to check on this side here. You want to make sure, um, you know, there are no pedestrians crossing. So if you have pedestrians uh, on this side, uh, you know, uh, crossing, um, that means uh, you still need to stop in the intersection. Uh, you will wait for the pedestrians to clear the intersection. Uh, when the crosswalk is clear, no, uh, you know, no oncoming traffic, that's when you would complete your left hand turn. All right, so let's, uh, in this example now, it's, um, you know, very simple. Um, the intersection was empty. There was no pedestrian crossing. So that means we can clear our left hand turn without any issues. Uh, let's, uh, let's look at another example now. Um, so here we have another example of uh, left hand turn. We're going to be turning left on uh, this intersection here. So again, step number one, you need to get in the proper lane, right? So on this example here, we do have a separate lane for left hand turn. So that means we need to change lane. And uh, to lane change, what you need to do is you would, we call it smoke. So S M O G. So you would signal, mirror check, shoulder check. If it's clear, then go, means change lane, okay? Um, all right, so we're gonna switch lanes here and uh, let me get rid of this. Okay, so we change lane and uh, now in, on this intersection, the situation is a little bit different, right? Um, we do have another vehicle in front of us. So now there's another car in front of us, light is red. And uh, if we check on this side here, so far we don't see any pedestrians who wants to cross the road. So we are okay on that side. Now oncoming traffic, um, it's a little bit hard to tell if we have any oncoming traffic or not. But uh, we will, uh, you know, uh, we will know when uh, this car move forward, we, we will actually get a better view of the oncoming uh, lane. And then we can see if there is oncoming traffic or not. Uh, one thing I want to point out, the light is red. See where this car is stopping. So this car actually went over the stop line and uh, they're also blocking crosswalk. So that's a mistake. Uh, don't do that in your driving test. Don't even do it after getting your driver license. All right. So let's, um, you know, start the video here. 
and uh, we are just waiting for the light to turn green and uh, when the light turns green we need to check on both sides we need to make sure the cross traffic has stopped okay so now here the light is green uh, before you go in the intersection you need to check uh, you know on the left hand side here you also need to check on the right hand side you want to make sure the cross traffic has stopped a uh, very important point because your examiner is looking for that in your driving test they want to see that your head is actually physically moving left and right if you're only checking with your eyes your examiner might not be able to tell if you're checking or not so it is important to uh, move your head physically move your head so make it obvious for your examiner that you are checking left and right okay um, so uh, let's uh, get rid of uh, this all right so let's see what we are going to do here so the light is green this car is moving forward uh, so far it looks like there's not um, you know there's no oncoming traffic um, all right so we are moving up and uh, there was traffic but again you know this traffic um, is turning left right so even on this car here um, the left signal is on do not rely too much on the signals um, in this example here they are in the turning lane their signal is on I would wait uh, you know I would look at the tire position as well and I can see the tires are pointing to the left hand side that's my indication they are not going straight they are turning left all right so um, so this guy is uh, turning left there's uh, no oncoming traffic and uh, the, there was no pedestrian so that means we can complete our turn we always go in your um, you know in the first lane first so here after the left hand turn we would actually come into um, you know uh, this lane first and after that you need to change lane to the right so again you would follow the lane change procedure signal mirror shoulder check if it's safe then you change lane all right so uh, let's uh, get rid of this okay and we also see the speed limit sign there uh, maximum 60 kilometer that means you want to pick up your speed um, um, you know uh, to uh, 50 55 or 60 if the road condition is um, um, ideal road and the weather conditions are ideal so let's uh, look at another example now all right so we're going to look at um, separate uh, you know a different uh, intersection now and uh, on this intersection um, there is a separate traffic light for the left hand turns so if you check um, now this light um, let me see okay all right so as we are approaching to the intersection you can see the you know this light here and this light here uh, these two lights are green because they are actually for traffic going straight or traffic turning right and for the left hand turns uh, we have a separate light um, on this side here so this light here and uh, this light here so these two lights uh, they are for the left hand turn and uh, right now the light is red so that means we need to stop before the stop line and uh, there's also a sign indicating um, you know uh, this uh, light is for the left hand turn so we we can also see a sign here uh, same thing on this side here we can see a sign indicating um, you know this traffic light is for left hand turns all right so same thing here uh, when you're waiting for the green light when you're uh, waiting for the light to turn green um, you know uh, make sure uh, you're checking everywhere you should be looking in your rear view mirror you need to know uh, what's happening behind your vehicle and uh, before you go in the intersection you also want to scan the intersection so check left and right to make sure the cross traffic has stopped all right uh, so let's look at one more example and uh, this time uh, we do have um, oncoming traffic so uh, we are in the left turning lane the light is green we are the first car so that means we have to pull in the intersection we stop before the middle of the intersection and uh, now we do have oncoming traffic here right so um, you want to make sure very important you want to make sure you're not rushing yourself if you see oncoming traffic right you have to uh, wait in the intersection if they are uh, close to you uh, because they get the right of way do not rush yourself um, in the driving test at the same time do not hesitate if they are too far away you can clear your uh, turn but um, you know in this uh, situation here the car was actually uh, pretty close to the intersection so that means I have to wait for them let them go first and uh, when I'm waiting for uh, the oncoming traffic to clear um, I'm checking I'm still looking at my uh, traffic light here right so these two lights are for the um, left hand turn uh, you can look at this one or this one um, right so I'm checking my traffic light here and uh, I'm also uh, checking for uh, pedestrians on this side and I'm also looking in uh, in my rear view mirror to see what's happening behind um, my vehicles so let's uh, get rid of this and uh, we are looking for a big opening between the traffic when you see a big gap between the traffic um, that time you can clear your turn as long as there are no pedestrians uh, crossing the um, 
intersection. Uh, so looks like after this vehicle here, um, we can go. Now one more thing I want to point out. Okay, so the intersection is clear. At the same time, now the traffic light has changed from green to amber. So that means the oncoming traffic, now they have amber light as well. So even if you have oncoming traffic, like let's say on this side here, um, then you observe um, because when you have amber light, they have amber light. Now sometimes they slow down, sometimes they speed up. So that's gonna, you know, that's gonna be your observation, and that will actually come basically, you know, come from uh, experience. Um, so if you notice like they are slowing down, you can clear the intersection. But if you notice, um, you know, they are um, not uh, slowing down, they are still, um, you know, maintaining their speed or they are speeding up. Uh, that means you stay in the intersection, let them go first, and when they, um, you know, after that, uh, the light will change into red, and that's when you will clear the intersection. So in this case, uh, we have amber light here, but there's no oncoming traffic, there's no uh, pedestrians on that side. So that means we can clear the intersection. Do not hesitate in situations like this, because um, you know the situation in this situation here, your examiner is not going to wait too long. If um, your examiner notice you're not doing anything, your light has changed, no pedestrians crossing, no uh, oncoming traffic, and uh, you're not doing anything, um, your examiner will ask you to go, and that would uh, that could be uh, you know automatic fail in the driving test. All right, um, so we're going to look at another example here. So um, we are turning left, so we go into the left-hand lane, Signal is on, we are keeping our car closer to the divider here, the light is green, the car in front of us is clearing the intersection because they saw you know, a gap uh, between this car and this car here. So um, that means uh, they can clear the intersection and there was no pedestrian crossing on that side. Light is still green, so that means now we have to go in the intersection. When we go in the intersection, the oncoming traffic now, um, this car is too close to us and we know they got the right of way, so we have to stop in the intersection. Uh, before the middle of the intersection and um, um, after this car we can clear uh, our turn. So after this car the you know the oncoming traffic is too far away, no pedestrians crossing so that means we can clear our left hand turn. Alright everyone thank you very much uh, that's it for this video this video we talked about um, how to do left turns and uh, if you guys like to see more videos like this maybe you know um, more examples of left hand turns or right hand turns lane change um, just let us know, um, you know, put that in the comments below and uh, subscribe to the channel because we are uploading new videos every day. So um, thank you again and I will see you guys um, next time.